Hi guys! As the company expands, we need a robust and reliable network infrastructure that can handle the increasing number of devices, such as IP phones, wireless access points, and security cameras. Recently, a rapidly growing company reached out with our technical support team, which faced the challenge of expanding their network infrastructure. So let's see what happened to them. Our customer here has an industrial site located in a remote area, requires a network infrastructure to support various operational technology, such as remote monitoring and control system, security cameras and SS control. He's looking to use three switches plus a PoE injector to achieve the network expansion. He already has a UPS battery backed up located at the NVR and have an electrical outlet near the switch for normal daily use. Now, he wants to use dual power supply using both electrical outlets and UPS battery. But how to make this work is the question. And whether you're working on a network infrastructure or any other tech project, we've got you covered. You can simply send your questions through the link down in the description box below, and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. Powering a common PoE switch using an electrical outlet is a straightforward process. The switch will be connected to the outlet through a power cord and supplying it with necessary electrical power to operate, so you can power up edge devices using PoE technology. It stands for Power Over Ethernet. It allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable and eliminating the need for separate power source. You can simplify the installation and reducing cable clutter. Since our customer wants a continuous run network, so redundant power is of utmost importance. Ensure the switches can remain operational even if the powering power source fails. And this can be achieved through multiple power supply and the use of PoE with PoE pass-through. Now, PoE pass-through allows the switch itself to be powered through PoE, effectively reducing the need for an external power source and it can receive power from a PoE injector located upstream. That's why we suggest our customer to use a PoE pass-through switch. Now, this is an innovative networking device that combines the capabilities of a network switch with the ability to supply power to connect the devices over the Ethernet cable. So now, let's move on to the demonstration board, and I will show you the setup for our customer. Redundant power capability offer increased reliability and uptime, making them essential for applications where network continuity is vital, such as civilian system, data center, and in our customer's case, industrial network. So now let me show you the setup for a customer. Over here, we have a monitor and the NVR since we're connecting to IP camera at the edge. This is the router to provide the main network data. And as our customer said, they're all connected to a UPS. Now, UPS stands for Uninterruptible Power Supply. It can provide backed up power to connected equipment during a power outage, since this is, consists of battery that store the electrical energy. And up here, we have our 90 watts PoE injector that compels with IEEE 802.3 BT standard. And it's using up all four twisted pairs wire in the Ethernet cable. And it can provide up to 90 watts of power to the edge device. In the back, we have a little mounting tool so you can mount it on a DIN reel easily, provide flexibility for installation. And over here, we have our outdoor waterproof PoE pass-through switch. Now, this switch is an extremely reliable networking system for outdoor application with highly flexibility on installation. This can provide data and power to a number of PoE-compatible devices and a total power budget of 90 watts and power output up to 30 watts per port. 
and it can receive power from our AO2.3 BT standard injector. But keep in mind, it can only receive the power through port number 8. And as you can see, it's also connected to a power outlet to achieve redundancy. So now, let's do the connection together. First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to the NVR. And then, I'm going to use an other Ethernet cable to connect the router to our 90 watts PoE injector. As you can see, the indicated light is on because I already plugged it into the UPS. And now, I'm going to plug it in to the data import. And then for the PoE output port, I'm going to use the 100 meters Ethernet cable. So this side is all set and done, mounted back on the DIN reel. So everything is connected. We have the 100 meters Ethernet cable, so let's come to the edge to our power switch. And this power switch, remember, can only take in the power through port number 8. So now let me plug it in. You can see the indicator light is getting on. Now it's receiving the power from a PoE injector. And I'm also going to turn on the power outlet and plug in two Ethernet cables since we're connecting to two edge devices. And the power source is already built in to the PoE power switch. The camera first and then the wireless access point. As you can see, the indicated lights are getting on. It will just take a few seconds for the video to show up on the display. Now it's on. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. Now I'm going to show you the redundancy by unplugging the power outlet. And it should black out for a few seconds, but then it will turn back on. Now let's talk about our outdoor power switch. It has IP67 waterproof rated, so it's perfect to use in a harsh environment due to its enclosure. Whoop, it's on already. So I'm going to wave my hand again to show you this is a live video with just the PoE injector powering up our power switch. So now the whole setup is done, but remember that I mentioned our customer has three different switches because they have three remote locations. So this is only the setup for one switch. He will need three PoE power switch and three PoE injector in order to complete the whole setup. And this PoE power switch already extends for another 100 meter for our Edge device. And you can connect to any devices that is PoE compatible. PoE power switch simplify installation, reduce cabling complexity, and provide power and data connectivity to different PoE enabled devices. And most importantly, it suits perfectly for a customer situation for redundant power setup. And here are some more additional information. First, you should add a search protection, such as search protector, to enhance the overall reliability. Next, choose high quality cabling like the Pure Copper cable, CAT5E or CAT6, because Pure Copper has superior conductivity compared to other materials. And also, consider power requirement when using PoE to ensure the PoE power switch have adequate power for connected devices. Last but not least, you need to determine the required ports and the number port number of the switch. And if you want to know more, here is a video on why use a 90 watts high power PoE++ injector. And thank you very much for watching us.